Good morning, everyone, uh, to, uh, <laughs> uh, to the very first session uh, on day two. It's a rather early session, particularly for those who perhaps have watched the penalty shootout between Argentina and, uh, Ar and Holland, as I have, which, which ended at 2 a.m. But nonetheless, it, it, it's great to be here. And, and uh, all joke aside, obviously, this is uh, one of the most pertinent, most timely sessions of this year's World Policy Forum. It is titled The Future of the EU and European Security After the Ukraine War. I wish we could sit here today and speak about the state of the world after the Ukraine war. Unfortunately, we are not quite there. No. But I couldn't have asked for a better panel, more esteemed speakers, uh, to be diving into this very uh, timely and important subject matter in alphabetical order. To my immediate left, he is a member of the German Bundestag and the coordinator of transatlantic cooperation of the German government. Please welcome Peter Breyer. Okay, good morning. Peter, good to have you with us. We'll, 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 I, I will revert to you in just a moment. We have with us the former president of Mongolia. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome this morning President Elbek Dorsch. He is a very good friend of the World Policy uh, Conference, been here many times. He's a senator in the Polish Parliament and the chairman of the Foreign and EU Affairs Committee in the Polish Senate. Good morning to Bogdan Klitsch. Hello. Delighted to have with us the personal advisor to the High Representative and Vice President of the Commission of the EEAS. Great to have him with us, Zaki Laidi. Eden. And last but certainly not least, he is the founder of the Hubert Bedrin Council and, of course, the former Minister of Foreign Affairs of France. Delighted to see him here. Hubert Bedrin, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> 